back to my channel. My name is Emma, and today we have our slightly late August podcast. Um, I'm going to try to get through this really quickly because my natural light is fading fast. It's 7.06. I think the sun, it's like basically dark by, not dark, but like dusk light by like 8.30. It's going to take me that long to film a podcast, but you never know. Also, I'm going to try to move as little as possible because the chair I'm sitting on is super squeaky. And lastly, I'm sorry about my glasses and the reflection. I would, I wore them all day today, so there's like literally marks where my makeup is rubbed off. Otherwise, I would take them off, but I really don't have time to redo my makeup. Or, yeah, so lots going on. But hey, it's the first podcast from the college apartment. Hey! If you're new to my channel, hi. If you're confused, I just recently moved into this apartment for college because um, I'm a junior and I transferred here to university, so it's been a lot. It's been a hectic few weeks, but we're here and we're filming a broadcast. So I have my laptop right here, so if I'm glancing over here, that's why. But I have all my notes um, for this episode because it, there's a lot going on, and quite frankly, I don't think I could do it all from memory. But first thing is acquisitions. <music> Oh, oh my god, y'all see my room? It's so boring now. I had to change it because I'm leaving for school and I just, I don't know, I had weird feelings about leaving my room as decorated as it was. Anyways, so slightly different background. It is a mess because I leave for school in, today Saturday, I leave on Tuesday. It's a little hectic right now. But anyways, I wanted to get you through um, my acquisitions because I'll be in a different place at the end of the month when I film the rest of this podcast, so very quickly. These two, these first two things I didn't actually buy. I was skipped it from a friend. They went to an art store, art supply store, and they had these there and they're like, do you want some? And I was like, well, of course. So it's these really pretty wood crochet hooks. This one is a 4.5 millimeter and this one is a 6 millimeter. Just common like sizes that I use that I just, they're so pretty. I was like, yes, please. And they were only $5 each, which I'm like, I don't know where they got these from, but I'm kind of amazed. And then this one I did buy. It's the Clover 8 millimeter crochet hook. Plain old um, Clover Amore. I think that's what the style is. My favorite crochet hooks. Literally, Clover, hit me up. I will take any more. Um, because I don't like buying them, but these are my favorite crochet hooks. They're the most consistent I love the quality like all of them. So I did just get one. I know I got this with a purpose of a project I think I just don't remember What the project was so That's something I'll have to figure out in the next few days And I do have yarn acquisitions if you saw my July podcast. Yes, I am on a yarn band but like in July some things just require breaking the yarn band, but to continue to hold myself accountable, um, I'm de-stashing two balls of yarn for every one ball I bring in. I love getting interrupted. Anyways, so, to be frank, um, I did, oh god, it's so sad. I have worked at Joann's since October of 2022, so two years almost, and it's the only job I've ever had. I didn't get a job until college because, um, the little money I was making from crocheting kind of sustained me um, in the like late teens I didn't really need a job so and then I needed a job so that's I got I was, chose Joann's got hired and I really liked it you know I don't speak I don't speak for the company please don't sue me um, I think like any other like corporation like big chain job it always is gonna depend on the management at the place you're working it's not so much like all Joann stores or all Walmart stores or whatever it's very much like who's running that store I was very lucky I had very great managers very great co-workers so I will miss them <laughs> another thing I will miss especially while I'm at school is the 30% employee discount that employee discount that stacks on sales and clearance was so near and dear to me I love her so because I am going to come back I think for like the winter break so I might work there for like a month again but I don't quite know how Christmas break is gonna look right now like not for sure so this could potentially be the last time I work there at least for the rest of my college years so I was like I need to take advantage of the 30% off I just do like that's just being real here so I did but I was like no it's still yarn band so we're still gonna stash and I'll go through that quickly but I also want to go through the yarn I bought I think quite frankly I had a little bit more self-control I would have bought more but I was running out of stuff that I would de-stash so I had to be like no girl 
be careful. We bought yarn for three projects. Also, I think my camera is crooked. You're gonna have to forgive me. You're propped up on my coffee cup. So the first thing I got were these three Burnett Forever Fleece Finest. So this is, there's two other versions of this, I think. Um, but this is the thinnest. I got two brown and one kind of hot pink color. Um, this is chocolate heather and this is red heather. This is not red. This is like magenta at best. Um, and my plan is to make a sweater. Now, I usually am really scared about uh, like having enough. I looked at some patterns of some people, I looked at some patterns, sweater patterns, and based off my usual size and the usual estimation, this should be enough yarn for a sweater. Basically, uh, it's a weight for yarn. It is, it's a weight for yarn. Um, and they come with 888 yards. Like it's a pretty big ball of yarn. Um, and it's 100% polyester, which I have no problem with, but it's just really cool. Like, whoa. I, this is gonna be a sweater. My plan is, you know, baggy, simple, kind of boxy sweater. And I wanna do pink, like all brown, but then like a pink stripe, maybe like just across the middle. Um, the pink I will also use for the cuffs and like hems and stuff if I run out of brown but I do want like the base color to be brown and the accent to be pink hence why I got this so this should be enough for a sweater if it's not I will literally cry or just make it more cropped I don't know but that's one project also the so then this is bringing in three balls of my to my stash so I am getting rid of six now I bought this a little bit ago but it's still in August so I'm gonna show the picture of the six balls that I de-stashed from these because I gave away a lot of yarn and most of it was, like it, it's already been giving away, I don't have it with me. So yeah, that's the six that I'm getting rid of. This next one I'm really excited about. I Since it came out, I'm like, oh, I need this. It's so cool. And this was another one I showed a lot of self-control because I wanted multiple color colors for multiple projects, but I was like, no, let's stick to one project. Yikes. So, um, it's the Lion Brand 100% Superwash Merino. Um, it's a weight three yarn, 100 grams, 306 yards. And I got five of these in the midnight blue color. It's so pretty. It's so soft, like any old Superwash. I liked it because this is like... Um, obviously it's a hundred percent wool, but it, I, I learned in the last year, uh, year ish. I don't like the scratchy wools. I don't like scratchy alpacas. I probably don't like mohair. I don't even, I've never used it, but this super wash, I'm like, oh, it feels like a dream. So that's that. My plan for this yarn, as you can see, I did buy five. It's really dark, but yeah, I bought five. Um, I want to make a long sleeve. I wouldn't say like I'm making a crop top, but I'm, I own a long sleeve Brandy Melville crop top. I bought literally years ago in a navy blue color. I don't know how it even still fits me. It's like stretchy. I think it's gotten shorter. Like as I've grown since I was 15, um, it's stretched more so it's gotten shorter but it still fits and I love it so much but I do want to make something similar because it's not gonna fit forever probably or I'll just it's like a little button thing so I want to make a similar vibe you know long sleeve form-fitting but it might end up being more like long sleeve full-length tee than like button cardigan if that makes sense so that's what the plan for this is again based off of the stuff I've crocheted before patterns I've looked at the whole shebang this should be enough for a long sleeve if it's not i will literally cry but whatever last one i bought i bought eight of these big twist prisms it's they're 100 percent acrylic yarn it's a weight four and it comes with how much 273 yards per ball as you can see this is the color tiger's eye and it's a bit more warm brown in real life it's coming up very gray dark on camera it's pretty warm and I bought eight of these because I want to make, oh also, it is acrylic yarn. I have literally nothing against acrylic yarn. It is like kind of a loosely spun acrylic yarn. So 
I am already assuming that this is gonna pill a little bit, but that is why I wanna make like the comfiest, coziest wear at home, on the go, forever, like, um, like sweatshirt kind of vibe. Like very casual, wear all the time, not like something nice. Because I feel like um, there's definitely some sweaters, some yarns, just general vibes where it's like you want to, it's like a nice sweater to wear nicely. I want this to be very casual. Think crew neck from H&M, casual wear. Why is my room so dark? Oh my god. Mm, it's getting a little brighter. The light is weird right now. Sorry guys. Can you see how it's not quite so cool? Anyways, I got eight of these, um, again, based off my calculations, should be enough for a sweater. I don't know if I'm going to add any kind of texture, like, both of these yarns are pretty textured on their own. I feel like just plain double crochets will kind of, um, showcase the yarn and get a sweater out easily. I have nothing against a plain double crochet sweater. I think other ones, um, are cool, like, different textures and stuff, but a plain double crochet, um, what is it called? drop shoulder where it's like a basically a square until you get to like here for the arm I love that style I love a plain old sweater so this is nothing crazy for me but yeah that is the last thing I got I got eight of these so if we're following along with the math I already de-stashed de six for the burnout yarn so that leaves me eight uh Big Twist Prisms and 5 Lion Brand Superwash, so that's 13 balls of yarn I brought in, so I'm getting rid of 26. Like I said in the last video, we are getting towards the end of things I'm willing to part with, so it really cannot get crazier than this. But I will show you quickly, I am on my bed, um, I'm going to run through these literally so fast. Going off this little, going off from the top of the pile, I have these two Nature's Choice Organic Cotton, I just have two of them. I thrifted them from the reuse store so they were about three bucks each um i like the cotton but it's kind of um as you can see it's not super like plied and i only have these this small amount so it will probably end up have been an accessory and i don't wear crochet accessories enough already so i don't need yarn for more probably um i have a bunch of these lilies sugar and cream Again, nothing against these, but I don't use them that much. I like them for a lot of different projects, but I already have a few, I guess. I've made coasters. I also have cotton yarn similar to this that I still haven't used that definitely have projects. And this was like an old, I was going to make a project um, and then that idea got scrapped. So I was just kind of left with no plan for it, if that makes sense. So that's nine. And then here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I have 14 different balls of acrylic. And as we can see from my haul, I have no problem with acrylic yarn. But the most of this yarn was given to me. And I was like, oh my God, there's so much of a similar type. I'll make a blanket. I have yarn already for three other blankets we can part with this one, you know? This is the last, this is four more of the um, acrylic that I was gonna be a blanket. But yeah, these three make me sad to say, sad to go because I literally bought them like this past summer. It's the Eddie Bauer Adventure Cotton. It's 100% organic cotton. This is the yarn I am making socks out of right now. They come in 150 gram balls and it's a way too yarn. I wanted to make a top out of this, but, <laughs> Uh, as I'm making the socks, I don't have, I like the yarn. I like the way it feels. I don't love the color. I had bought four of these. This is what one of them looks like caked up. Um, and I've gotten through this much of my sock and it's barely made a dent. So I'm not worried about like running out of this in the, while finishing up this sock, but A, I have the base patience for very few projects that are this thin and I already have a whip going with a green cotton yarn that's a weight one, not a weight two. And also, I just don't love the color. And I don't want to ever have to, I don't want to work with small yarn again for a top because the whip I have is killing me. So this is a lovely yarn, but I was misguided in buying it. So I'm going to get rid of it 
And that brings us up to the 26 balls that I'm de-stashing. Okay, so we're back in New York. As I explained, I think in a vlog, I think it was one of my move-in vlogs that I went thrifting. Oh, I'm sneak peeking everything, oh my God. See what I mean about this chair? But I, there's a thrift store. I don't know if it counts as on campus, but it's pretty close to campus. And they had a little basket of yarn and I got these three of the loops and threads wool like and the reason why I broke the yarn band is because they were 79 cents. Are you joking me? There's some things you just kind of can't say no to. So this is a weight one and it is um, I believe acrylic and nylon. Hold on. Yeah, weight one, super fine. It is 85% acrylic and 15% nylon. Um, and this color is old because I know this packaging is old, but it's the color ice, ice blue. I'm not sure if Michael still sells this color, but I know I've seen recently that they do still carry this yarn. So next thing I got are two wools. Um, I went to the New York State Fair last weekend, and there were two reasons I went to the fair. One, I wanted deep fried Oreos, and two, I wanted to f visit this little stand situation they have at the fair because I went two years ago. And they had it there and I was like, I want to go back. If they call it the Wool Center because they have, um, like, obviously, like, it's a state fair. They have, like, sheep and horses and all these, like, petting zoo things at different exhibits. But this fair has a wool center and they have, like, little ladies spinning wool and just bags of wool. I'll try to insert some pictures because I did take pictures. Um, and it's just, like, you learn about wool and dyeing wool and spinning wool and these really informative ladies. But they also, because they sell wool, they sell yarn and finished products. So I did go with the intention of wanting to get some wool because I just think it's a really cool, like, keepsake. It has a story. It has everything. So they don't, like, spin the yarn there, but they do just carry yarn. So I got Cece's wool. I got two skeins of this. It's a pretty natural color. But it's local yarn gems. Um, it says, I don't know what fin is, but it says slash merino. But I just, I know it's wool. Three ply, three ply sport weight, 320, yow, 320 yards, 4 ounce skein. It doesn't say, um, I will put here if 4 ounces or is 50 grams or 100 grams. Because quite frankly, I don't know. And I know people sell skeins of 50 and 100. I just don't know which one this is. Um, but yeah. Um, and then it's the color natural. I will link their website and also just put here the information again because I don't know if I got it all, but this was really fun. And lastly, this is another thing where it's like, um, if you watched, if you've been watching my videos for a while, especially the early D-Stash videos, I did make a point to say how if I needed to finish a project, I'm not like it's okay, it's not like going against the D-Stash. And I'm remembering and bringing back that rule for this one because I started a blanket and I don't think I'm gonna have enough. Uh, it's, you'll see it later, but I was not sure I'm gonna have enough orange. So I just got another orange on Amazon to make sure that I have enough for the blanket. For the de-stash portion of this, because I am still kind of de-stashing like with scrap, I don't have anywhere, like I could donate back to that thrift store. I don't know if I'll do that yet. When I have a little bit more, I'll kind of make that decision. But the yarn that I'm de-stashing is the very last of this cotton yarn. From Joanne just this orange and blue I've made enough things with this I really don't need anything else and then the rest of this green cotton that I use to make my socks with that I will talk about more but these are just three that I've de-stashed I've written them down as like de-stashed um so I'm not going to use these but I'm not going to I don't have anywhere to get rid of them right now okay had to come pop in the next day because I forgot to film this I had it on my bed with everything else when I was filming and I just like forgot to mention it because I didn't buy it but um, one of my very very lovely subscribers um, ordered something from one of the Amazon lists and I got it in and so I was gonna include it in the, in this acquisition section and literally forgot but <laughs> I got um, it's just a kitchen scale which is like, I don't cook, but I wanted it to more accurately measure yarn I have and like yarn I have left over at the end of a project um, to like see how much I used. Um, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. It's so cute. Okay, I need to put batteries in it, but then I'm gonna use it to measure how much I have left of this yarn because it came in 150 gram ball I believe and I made socks so I want to see like how much is left okay 
I'm, I put batteries in. You can't see it. It's right on my desk here, but I'm going to measure it. I don't know why I'm like so amazed. It's a kitchen scale, but I have 63 grams left, which is super cool because that means that now I can kind of put in my head that um, I can use an 100 gram hank of a sport weight yarn to make a whole pair of socks like generally like and have some left over so a little bit left over but yeah this was fun um back to the rest of the normal video time for finished objects so this is not in order because i don't remember the order i made things in but the first thing that i have is this striped tank top this is an altered version of a Evelyn and Peter pattern. Evelyn and Peter pattern, I believe it's called the Racing Summer Take or something like that. We'll link it. I did talk, I did alter the pattern um, and I talked about that a lot more in, I think it was the first move in vlog. So go watch that. I got basically two more like projects out of this orange and blue cotton yarn. The first one being this wristlet and I put let me cover my ID but I put a bunch of stuff on here I have a wallet with my ID and chapstick I have my keys a little keychain my airpods another keychain and a flashlight keychain but I just really wanted one of these things for it and I think it's really cute and then I made a bunch of these coasters I actually made six coasters three of them are in the living room two of them I gave away as a gift and then I have one left in my bedroom Two more things I finished in August is actually this white bra that I'm wearing. Obviously, it was a success. I will post a better picture that I posted to my Instagram because you can kind of see a little bit more of what's going on. Um, that's all there is to it. I made it. It was great. It took, I want to say, like a week and a half, two weeks. Um, also, in one of the move-in vlogs, I talked a lot more about it, so go watch those again and then the last thing that I finished I literally finished it on August 31st were these green cotton socks now the thing with these socks and I am I am going to post and do have a video filmed focused purely on these socks um not a horrible process not a great product and you know what they're my first one so there's obviously a lot to learn the basic gist of it before i don't want to like repeat be repetitive in the video so i'm not going to go into details but basically one of them fits really well and one of them is way too tight on this part so i can't wear them and i'm not making another a third one to like try to make it work so this is just the learning curve i do i like them i just wish they fit so i can't wear them you know what whatever Again, learning curve. You'll have to watch the video to see all the details, all the pattern and what I did and the yarn and everything. So I did finish these though in August, so I wanted to show them anyway. I have a few works in progress is to show y'all and I'm gonna start with the oldest one because I've actually finally started making progress on it again. So that's really exciting. But this is a green cotton t-shirt that I started over the summer and I kind of designated it as my lecture slash like in the car crocheting so there wasn't much to be done on it until school started again but this is what it looks like right now because it's literally going to be like a boxy t-shirt and I'm doing it in panels so this is the front panel and it's actually literally was less than half of this size like two weeks ago um if I put it against me like I've got not that much to go before I shape the neck a little bit. Maybe like another five inches. I'm not sure because I don't know how long I want it to be yet. But this is finally giving some progress and I'm very excited about it. I still have obviously the whole back panel and sleeves and finishing to do. But this is more progress than I've seen since I started it. My next work in progress, another boring panel construction project, but I started another sweater because it's not cold here yet, but in it's like a little bit cool in the morning and the evening, so you know, fall is quickly approaching. So I started a sweater, and this is what it looks like so far. It's going to be another kind of drop shoulder panel construction. And I have this yarn. It's the Burnett Forever Fleece Finest. This is not a just get up and get it, but basically, I have two of these browns and one of these pinks. And so what I'm gonna do is 
do just plain rose of brown until maybe like okay so i got this shirt maybe like here and then do like a stripe of pink and then like do like the top and brown and then do the sleeves and brown and do like the bottom neck and uh wrist really in pink i think it'll be fun a little interesting. basically what's gonna happen is i'm gonna do the stripe in pink and then if the rest of the like the rest of it will kind of be based on how much brown I have. So I'm going to do the stripe in pink and then probably do the neck and bottom ribbing. And then depending on how much pink and how much brown I have left, will determine if I do a stripe of pink on the arms or just the ribbing in pink. So that'll all be determined. I try to do some math based off of sort of made in the past. And three of these should have been fine. I just don't know quite color-wise color how it's going to be split. I told y'all it would get mentioned soon. But I, oh my goodness, started this blanket. It doesn't look like much right now. It's literally just a granny square, two rows of orange, and then one row of blue. And I'm just going to keep going when I feel like it till it covers my bed. Not much going on there. I believe I'm using size six, six millimeter hook, just a clover hook. I've been in class all day and then I come home and talk for 20 minutes. So sorry. Um, last thing that's kind of a whip, but then kind of just like its own thing is the temperature blanket. I did catch up until the end of August. Haven't touched it in September, but it's only the 5th, so hopefully I don't get too far behind. But this is what she looks like. Actually, I need to stand up again. This is what she looks like so far. The line of brown is the separator from states. So those last two pink on the end were my last days in Texas. And then I finished the row in brown. And then where it's blue again is when it was my first days here in New York. Um, she's getting big. That's kind of all I can say about her. I ran out of yarn, so it took me a minute to catch up, but we're back. Okay, only two more sections and still plenty of light, so this is going great. But for my future plans, I honestly don't have crazy future plans because I'm very busy. School has been, we've been in session for two weeks now, and I wish I had more time to crochet. It's kind of looking like... Thursday night through Sunday is going to be my prime crochet hours. Obviously, like Monday through Thursday is kind of like class after class after class. Do the homework that I need for the next day kind of thing. But the weekends is looking like crochet time. So excited about that. But first thing, I would love to finish this brown sweater. I think it's going to be super cute. And I definitely want it done by the time it's cold enough to wear a sweater all day. Which I'm not for sure, but I can almost guess guarantee it's gonna be by like the end of the month in a few weeks so definitely that I think sock wise I do want to get another sock started because I'm determined to make socks work like I want to crochet socks so badly and just because I am still learning I don't want to waste good sock I say waste but honestly I don't want to make socks that I can't wear with expensive yarn so I am gonna use that blue thrifted yarn for my second pair of socks I'm gonna buy another pattern I'm gonna test that one out we're gonna see what happens I will be kind of turning that into a series so again not much on that but there will be more sock videos trust those are like my immediate plans um, I would also love to finish the green t-shirt but that one does work really well as like in lectures need something to focus on that so I don't fall asleep and get bored and get distracted so there's not really a time limit on that but there's gonna be a point where like it's too cold to wear so that might be unfortunate but we'll just kind of see how that goes um and then I don't have too much yarn here I have to kind of take an inventory of the yarn I brought and kind of see when I need to text my mom to send me <laughs> the box of yarn that I packed. Go watch the first move-in vlog. I packed a box of yarn of like potential projects for when I get bored of the yarn that I brought in like the direct move. So we'll see. I honestly don't know but definitely finish the sweater and make another pair of socks. <music> This segment is going to be short because I honestly have not read or watched much exciting stuff in August. I finished Song of Achilles, the book. Um, I don't have it with me because I left it there. I made a point to finish it before I moved so then I wouldn't have to bring it. It was good. Um, <laughs> I sound like a hater. It was a good book, but it was not as heartbreaking as like TikTok made it seem like it was be. It was sad, but like... I don't know. I enjoyed it, but I definitely was, like, waiting for it to be heart-wrenching. Like, disastrous, gut-wrenching, horrible, like... And it wasn't. It was, like, 
a Greek tragedy, you know? That being said, it was a great book. It had some great lines. I would probably reread it at some point, like maybe a summer leisurely reread. Um, that is the only book I read in August, and I have not started a new book in September, so we'll see what happens. I did bring three books in case I wanted to read. We'll see. And then for watching, again, another really boring thing. My sister and I have been watching Criminal Minds again, I think like all summer. But I did start re-watching Shameless in August. Um, Shameless is a crazy show. It's batshit crazy. But it is entertaining at the same time. Definitely never let a child watch that show. But it can be entertaining and I will not lie about that. Um, this is where I come to you guys. I really want to watch more crocheters on YouTube. I'm not hating in any means. But I'm really tired of seeing knitters. Because it's just not relatable. And for some reason, my YouTube keeps fitting, feeding me knitters. And I'm like, I just want to watch people crochet and talk about crochet. I just do. So if you know any crochet um, YouTubers, big or small, I do follow already some of the bigger ones. Um, but if you know any, let me know. And then also podcasts. I miss listening to podcasts. I, listen, I used to listen to a few pretty regularly. And now I really don't. So yeah, crochet YouTubers and podcasts, but honestly, any kind of show, movie, TV recommendations, I will check. I will check out because I desperately need them. That is all of the, um, like, podcast stuff I have for you. As you can see, I don't know, actually, if you can see, it is getting darker. So I'm kind of very much happy that I'm wrapping this up already. But I did want to talk about, I'm doing a little giveaway. I don't know if you can say that on YouTube. I've seen different different um ways of handling it it is going to be kind of through youtube but kind of through instagram as well basically i hit a thousand subscribers hey thank you so much but basically um the prize it's just gonna be one winner because i really don't have the time and i don't want to like make too many promises so it's gonna be one item that's well, there's an option. The first option would be one of the already made items I have on my Instagram. Um, there's a highlight of things for sale that I just have made back home that I can get shipped out. Um, one of those, anything from there because there's a few things listed. Um, or we can talk and I can do a custom order of, because I don't, if you scroll on my Instagram enough, You'll see all the customs I used to do, and we'll talk about it. But like within, um, within a price value of things in my highlight reel of the ready-made stuff, just so it's kind of even. But like one custom-made doll or stuffy, that's the other option. But it's gonna be subscribe to my channel, follow my Instagram, and then leave any type of comment on this video. But then in the comment, you need to put your Instagram handle because that's the only way that I'm going to contact you is through Instagram, through my account. That's it. Um, not on anything else. So I need a point of contact on Instagram. So that's how I'm going to do it. Hopefully we're going to figure this out together, but that's what I want to do. Um, and that's all you need to do. That's all I have today. It has been wild and crazy. Honestly, it has been a wild and crazy month. Oh my God, I can't believe we literally have September, October, November, December, and then 2024 is over. What is going on? So this has been crazy. Thank you so, so much for watching and commenting and doing all those amazing things on here and subscribing because the fact that people watch my videos is still crazy to me. But yeah, I apologize in advance if videos get a little not quite Saturday at noon, maybe Sunday at noon, maybe Monday at three, you know, whatever. Um, I'm going to try to kind of stay balanced and organized enough to get some kind of video out. If not, if I can't get a video out or whatever, it's delayed. I will post about it on Instagram, so definitely follow me over there. Speaking of, I always forget and do this stuff out of order, but... All of my socials are linked below as well as different links if you want to support me in different ways. Obviously on Instagram there's that highlight you can buy things from me. But then I also have two Amazon links that you can purchase stuff that gets sent to me if you are ever so willing. It's really no pressure at all. But I have those there just because there's things 
on the Amazon links that will make my life easier. And then hopefully videos get out. I don't know. But yeah, that's all I have for you today. And it's getting dark and I haven't had dinner yet. So I am going to go. Very important logistics. Oh my God. So basically this, um, you have a week to post, to post, you have a week to do all the commenting and following. So I'm going to be picking the winner on the 14th because this video should go up on the 7th. So I'm going to be picking the winner on the 14th. No, I'll pick the winner on the 18th, but it's going to be announced in the video that gets posted on the 21st. Are we following along? I will post a schedule. I will type out a schedule. Basically, <laughs> comment, do all the things on this video, and then the winner will not be announced until September 21st. That is for real, for real, all the things I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye!